All right, we're back. So I'm testing something out a little bit. I don't know if this is going to change audio quality or not, but um, I I did remove one of my um pop filters, which one of them I more just use as a spit guard, but I want to see if this actually changes um my ability to, or if it changes my audio quality at all. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. We will see. But yeah, um, I want to get that item because I don't know what item that is. And I don't think I grabbed the mystery jerky, but it doesn't matter. I really don't need it. Um, yeah, so this game is all about building a party. That That's what a lot of this game comes down to. And you're going to see what kind of character Terry Hints is right away so um terry hints is garbage early game he is the worst he does literally no damage strong warrior right so terry hints is also the best character in the game he is objectively the best i think because even though he's really squishy, he happens to um, build into the best party in the game because he can, um, he synergizes with another character who I've never actually used before. So I'm gonna see if I can try and find him, potentially. Or actually, no, I gotta try and get a hold of a certain item and not use it, so. But yeah, you'll notice that um, I am comboing in the spells with my um, with Armstrong style. That is actually how you um, fight with Brad because Brad's um, Armstrong style is like like that's how you cast spells because it adds extra damage. And it doesn't seem that big of a deal in the beginning, but trust me, it becomes fucking tits when you can just start popping off spells left and right and do like enough damage to like pretty much insta kill most characters so yeah but no terry hints is garbage he is actually garbage and i stopped bleeding um so yeah that's like that's how this game is going to be played pretty much though is just there's going to be a lot of characters that are just um really I bet you Terry could actually probably no never mind I spoke too soon I hit the wrong buttons whoops oops a daisy I fucked it up wow he hit it hurt himself yeah um these characters are not not very strong nice okay we got verbal bash um terry's no longer useless thank fucking god i i really hate terry in the early game he's so hard the the problem with terry okay terry hints is really good he really is he is awesome And he, he works really well as a character. But the problem is, he is so fucking hard to keep alive, it is unreal. Yeah. But he is just like, fuck, dude. He is so hard to keep alive. Because, oh, whoops, the game just freaked out a little bit. That's that's weird. For some reason, when you climb ropes in this game, it does wig out a little bit, and I don't know why. And perfume, I should have fucking left that there, because that's actually a really good item. Um, but Terry Hints might die, and I might be able to res him before then. Hmm. Yeah. So let's see. Hints. Um. Verbal bash. Um, 
So, Terry is a tutorial character also. I, as he should be, with the name Terry Hints. Oh wait, I, he's already. But as he should be. Um, Armstrong style, roll this. Oh wait, nope. Hmm. Just heal him up a little bit. So Terry is a pretty much support character early game because he doesn't have any way to do things. He also is able to use um, items to heal characters. So as such, he can um, heal. Oh, he fucking punched himself to death. <laughs> yeah, um, Terry's abilities um, essentially revolve around he can debuff characters into basically having confusion from Pokemon. So, they, um... So, we're gonna save now. A lot of dead people. We aren't gonna pick that up. And fucking hit by a bus. Love that shit. I suffered serious damage. Time is the greatest of teacher, but sadly it kills all of its pupils. All of its pupils. So... <laughs> He looks like a fucking Zumbini. Look at it. Look at this piece of shit. Look at him. Yeah. If you don't know, this is the character that was um in his gang. These were the characters that were in the um opening cutscene. I shall give you a choice: your yellow shirted friend's life or all of your belongings. Um, not Terry's life. You can have all of my items because Terry is godlike. Um, uh, my loins ink for excitement. Yeah, so he takes all our stuff. I metagamed it a little bit. I, um, I'm actually gonna walk. Oh, wait, no. Okay. I was like, I wonder if. Yeah, I saved your life. Anyway, you're a bad omen. Um, I don't mind. Harry Hintz joined us again. Man, he just doesn't get the memo. So, um, we are going to head back, pick up this football helmet. I'm not sure if I can actually find anyone that actually can use it, but we might. Worst comes to worst, I can sell it. Because there are certain characters that'll buy things. And... Yep. Figured. I remember that one. That one gets me every fucking time when I, when I was playing this before. So, okay. I didn't explain camps. I need to explain them. Because I'm gonna sleep at one, and I'm gonna get ganked one of these times, and you're not gonna understand why. What? Oh fuck, I forgot. I gave away my bottles. Um. So, okay. Um, how bad is my health? Okay, yeah, we need to sleep. So, I can spend time at a camp. This is a camp. Um, there's also little campfires you can sleep at. So, I can rest here, and I have a chance of things happening. Such as, I bet you when I walk out of this tent, I'm gonna get ganked. Oh wow, that's f <sighs> well. Now I look like an asshole. <laughs> Whoops. I I just mmm. Well, I'm can't say I'm not upset. I can't say I'm upset about that. So I'm just. Oh wait, no, I don't even have the item I need. Well, whoops. Wasting health. Not a big deal, that 10 health isn't going to matter much. Like, I rarely ever survive things with, like, that much health. Whoa! Holy heck. Um. 
So that guy will gank us um, and stuff. So I'm going to actually fight him because I think I get experience when I do that. Oh, wait, no, I guess he doesn't. What the? Walk two steps to the left, please. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Whatever, I guess. That, that makes sense. Um. Also, every enemy is like... In this game, it's like every enemy is actually unique, which is really cool, I think. And it's weird because it's like... Yeah, he missed. So yeah, luckily Terry Hints is gonna help us out a lot during this early game with um verbal bash. Yeah, just keep punching. Come on. My intestines are disarraying. Yeah. So inform, what does inform do? Um, I'm actually going to look at what Inform does because I'm curious. I've never gotten him to that level. Um, inform. Um, tell your friends some of your favorite combat hints. Hints. Tips. Fuck. Increase your SP. So he can now regen special points, which really doesn't help, honestly, this early in the game because he doesn't use any good ones. And... Huh. Being sentimental, brother? Uh-oh, here it comes. Closing my eyes. Good night, Olaf. I don't know if this is supposed to be a mother reference or not. I think it is. But yeah, um, that guy's just gonna tell us. I'm not gonna talk to him because it's not important. But yeah, so this is how the game works. So there are these four doors. There's this hole I can go into, which leads to this area, which I'm not gonna go to because it's dangerous. Very dangerous. Um, there's this area, which um leads to a whole like I don't know which one I'm supposed to go to yet. I'll I'll know once I actually get into each one. But if we go here, nope. Um, that's not the right one. I need to go to the Joy Factory. That's where I need to go right now. So we, I think it's this one then. So yeah, um. And I will know, oh crap. Okay, so I just triggered, I just triggered something bad because um, so yeah, I'm just suffering through with withdrawals now. That's what that red flash meant, meant and it was like a weird noise. But yeah, um, so we're gonna get a full party within this episode, I swear, if I have enough mags to do so. Um, it all comes down to if I have enough magazines. But I will have my party that I have at the beginning of every route, or every game. Oh man, this is gonna take up the rest of the episode actually, I think. This is Nern. Nern is the greatest historian of our time. He's gathered a wealth of knowledge about what happened with, to Olaf. So I'm gonna summarize as he's talking what happened. So, he's going to start talking about the Great Flash, and he's going to start talking about his wife, and what happened before the Great Flash, um, and where he was. I'm going to tell you about what the Great Flash actually is, and what it, how it's affected the area that exists in Olaf. So, the Great Flash is something that happened in Olaf. It was in a mass extinction event for all women essentially so there are there are no women in Olaf that's why Buddy the little girl that we found is so important because she is the last woman and the it's dangerous for her because there are all these men who are you know like they're gonna take advantage of her you know that's why they were saying 
giving her the rando army might be the best choice because the rando army I'm gonna turn down this a little bit again rando army could protect her and you know use her to save mankind and now Brad's kind of eh, I don't know but essentially Brad raised her so that's good and all that but as of right now though like buddy is the most important thing in the world now there's no context given to why the great flash happened and there's no context given to what could have caused it um oh whoops <laughs> Nern is a fucking shit poster and I love him so much. I I'm not reading this because I remember when I first played this and I read this, I got to the point where I was just like bashing my head into my desk because I'm just like shut the fuck up. Please. I beg of you. Um but yeah, no, the great flash happened and there's no context as to why it happened. All that, all that we know is that it did two major things. Well, three major things. Um, number one is that it turned, it got rid of all the women, which is the most important thing. Number two is that it turned Olaf into a huge desert, which um, nobody knows why that happened either. It's like Olaf used to be like you know normal countryside, whereas now it's um. A desert and um, the third thing that happened and he's gonna tell us about this in a second anyway but um the third thing that happened is the big flash changed the day and night cycle um and days last ages and night never comes and I think this is actually the reason why they explain why it never changes to night throughout really the entire story or at least through most of it the story like it it's always daytime no matter what except for like in a few key areas even though days pass by without it but yeah that's the um important thing like that's the important lore that Nurin tells And yeah, so he just he keeps talking, doesn't he? He like he just doesn't shut up. <laughs> You're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I I Nern Guan has joined your party. Yep. So Nern is actually the backbone of most of my teams that I've had through Lisa the Painful. And the reason why is because Nern is great. Smooth. Jesse. Yeah, um... He's tripping, so we're gonna leave him be. And we're just gonna go here. We're gonna actually grab these. Because, yeah. Bottles are important. Fun fact. They could serve as weapons or be used to make um better items such as recovery items which are important um now because i gave away all my magazines i don't have enough to get the other party member which is inside that bar which i that means i need to actually um i think i need 20 20 magazines is what i need so that's fine but yeah there's this which is, I don't know what that room is supposed to be for, but yeah. So we're just gonna walk down this way and hopefully we'll get enough money from the fights that are coming up to where, actually no, this is a great place to leave off. So in the next episode, we'll see what's beyond this road and yeah, hopefully get our party completed. I'll see you then, bye-bye.